Hi, this is Ethan from Combat Radio with a look at the Amityville Horror. Based on the book by Jay Anson, which is a masterpiece. Anson actually wrote a script for this, but it was rejected, so they brought in Sanders Stern from Towering Inferno fame to script it out. When I was at Warner Brothers, a producer approached me about doing an installment to this, but I thought this had been done to death. The only angle I could come up with is something that started with the murders, worked its way through the haunted aspects of the case, and then the movie itself be about a journalist or journalist type who investigates fact from fiction. And you put it all out for the audience to make their own decision on whether it was an actual haunting or a hoax. Well, as a result of all that, we got to know the case really well. I put in a request with the New York Department of Corrections to interview DeFeo. I looked at every court case, document, every deposition, every interview. I even spoke to the Amityville Historical Society so I could get weather reports and match them to claims made in the book and in different interviews. Because of all that, the neighborhood invited us out to do a Halloween show from the house, in part because they wanted to fuse some facts to the legend in an effort to dissuade TikTok stars from showing up on the front lawn every day to do videos. As we all know, the neighborhood's been plagued by trespassers for decades. The movie itself, to me, feels like a movie of the week, and my understanding is that was exactly what its original intention was. But it's interesting to see what they rifled in from the book into the script, because I think most of the paranormal, intriguing aspects of the story itself didn't make it to the screen. Instead, to me, this feels more about a family and a man coming apart and the damage he does, literally. He comes apart right here. In fact, Roland himself said he was over the top in that scene, even though he's a very fine actor. You know, he claimed he didn't work for two years after this because his character was so unlikable. Marco Kidder's fantastic in it, just off Lois Lane and Superman. You know, we did some radio work with her when she was alive. Very generous. May she rest in peace. But with all movies like this, I'd encourage you to see it for yourself and form your own opinion. And if you love it, fantastic. That's what movies are for. Love it all day long. The Amityville Horror. Look at this cast here, by the way. Rod Steiger, a little over the top. Marie Hamilton, because you always need a mayor to keep the beaches open. Samuel Z. Arkoff. I got some Samuel Arkoff stories for you. Read the book, see the movie, form your own opinion, and hey, have a good time. The Amityville Horror.